My name is Jasmine Rokes. My persona is a deer beast, which is made of a, um, of a deer, lion, and a dragon. My name is Katrina, but I also go by Cat. My persona is a wolf tiger dragon, although I mostly draw her with the anatomy of a really big wolf, and her name is Moss. My name's Avery, but I go by the names Zed and Rose as well. Zed was my original character, and Rose is my current character. She was just a plain dragon, and then she went into a hyena, and then she went into a big fuzzy dragon, which she is now. <laughs> it, it changed up a whole bunch, and it was really confusing because I didn't, I'm still trying to figure out myself, so making a character that represents myself is very difficult. For me, it was to, you know, to do the traits of what I liked or what I found interesting. Like, you know, a deer, lion, and dragon together is like, oh, that's weird. Um, not a lot of people do it in the fandom because the most common things are wolves, fox, and dragons. So it's it's really fun just to kind of go and do your own thing because not everyone has it that you have. I picked this for someone that it, she started out as a cat actually in fifth grade because I read the series Warrior Cats. But I realized that my favorite animal is a wolf and so I turned her into a wolf but I also like dragons and tigers so I had to put that into her species and I've had her same basic design ever since fifth grade. I, I really like dragons. Like I always wanted it to be a dragon, but I wanted it to be fuzzy and I didn't want it to be one of the more popular species that's around that's created by other members. So I just made my own thing. I think it represents me very well. The way I came in was with the fursuits. I had saw some YouTube videos and I thought, oh, hey, those are really cool. You know, let me dig deeper into the furry fandom. Then it was more of the art that grabbed my attention at the time and then after that I was like oh you know there's all these people and then I met people on Facebook who were like oh we have this thing and, you know it kind of just went on there and developed into like where I'm at now. Probably through YouTube when I was 10 or 11 at least so it's been a long time that's when I tried to make my first fursuit and then I failed terribly. Then I moved to Utah and I just watched more videos and um, at first I was like no I'm not a furry at all but then I'm like, yep, I'm definitely furry. I got into this through cringe compilations on YouTube. A cringe compilation is when people make fun of other groups of people, just laugh at them and stuff. But I got into the fandom by being exposed to those videos and seeing the bad stuff. But I looked into it a bit more and found the good stuff. And now I'm into the good stuff, not the bad. <laughs> when I do tell some people about it, like, you know, there's the occasional, oh, that's weird, but most of the people that I've told, like my friends and my family, they take it really positively. There's always the, I like some people say, oh, that's really cute, that's really cool. And there's sometimes like, what do you, or what are you gonna do in your fursuit when I explain to them that I really wanna like play with kids and stuff to make kids smile, they're like, oh yeah, that's really cool. Usually the, the positive comments that I get are from other furs mm -hmm. or from people that have known me for a long time and they accept me for what I like to do. I could honestly say the most thing you get is because people think you have um, intercourse with animals and stuff. That's a that's a really big one. They, oh, they always assume the worst. It's like, oh, you wear animal costumes and you know, that's weird. And of course it's weird because you know, not every day you walk down the street and you know, there's a giant dog unless you're like, it's for like a mascot for a high school or a company or something, then that's when you see them. But it's like, why would you spend so much for no reason for a costume, you know, like if you're only gonna wear it a few times a year. But that's probably like the worst thing that I've gotten. I've had comments on my personal Instagram for family and friends that have told me to stop it because it's disgusting. And I've had someone make a video about me telling me that I was disgusting and I've just had people to just, oh, go die. Oh, that's disgusting. That's horrible. Why do you do that? Things like that. I really hate it because it just, it makes me want to scream. I want to be like, no, that's not what we're about because all they see is the bad things. They don't see the good things. And it just makes me really upset that they don't get exposed to that stuff. I have the ability to give sad people a smile on their face. And just seeing that is enough positivity for me to keep going.